everyone, this is a part two to a previous video I did called It's a Trap. So, in that video I talked about the latest uh, kerfluffle over the oil fields in Alberta and another person coming to protest it and how this has set off effectively the conservative side of the climate change debate and then gone into a frenzy. Now, let's cover the other side, the liberal side, who I feel they have now a trap set up for them. So what do I mean? There was comments made by this person that uh, are boiled down to, when you elect a liberal, just be mindful of what kind of liberal you're electing. Now that kind of that kind of warning, at least in the U.S., where this individual is from, does make sense. There is a little bit of validity to that. If you analyze the presidencies of Barack Obama as well as Bill Clinton, you will see that both those men were able to pass certain legislation that their Republican conservative predecessors could not. So, like I said. At least in the states there is a case to be made I haven't personally found one in Canada yet but that doesn't mean they're not there and that doesn't mean that when I find one I might not do a video on it but back to the topic in hand the trap that has now been set for the liberals now is effectively you're not doing enough to defend the environment how dare you push a pipeline how dare you do this how dare you So now liberals have to come out of the woodwork like our prime minister did and act like, well, of course I'm committed. I believe his exact, or not exact, but the gist of what he was saying is we can't just get off oil, cold turkey. It has to be a phase out, which now also has people pissed off. And I can understand. But it forces these people into these roles where they have to come out and either put their foot in their mouth or they end up tripping over each other trying to show yes I am such a steward of the environment effectively taking the same trap that the conservatives all fell into which isn't helping this debate it's not helping this debate at all what is coming of this absolutely nothing is coming of this neither side is gaining any insight to the other Nobody's fears of losing their way of life are being, uh, sorry I can't find the word right now, but people in Alberta who are suffering because of low oil prices feel their way of life is being threatened. And with these protests, nothing being done is making them feel any better about it. It may in fact make them feel worse. Now on the other side of the debate, the people that really want to do something about the environment because they feel, based on the data, that something needs to be done now or we're going to be screwed for the, until essentially the sun goes supernova. They don't feel any better either because they feel they don't have a commitment from anybody to actually do something about the environment. So, these protests are doing nothing but driving us further and further apart, <coughs> which is going to hurt everybody in the long run so as far as I'm concerned liberals shut up it's a trap keep your mouth shut conservatives it's a trap keep your mouth shut ignore these people when they when they rise up keep your fucking mouth shut when they rise up ignore them don't give them press don't give them reason to, like, to end up in the papers because you're just going to end up making it hard. Everybody, it's just going to be made harder on you in the future. And you know who's going to lose? We all are going to lose. Either when an industry collapses, or if worst case scenario on climate change happens and the world is just that much more of a hostile place to live in. <clears throat> and to anybody who isn't going to try to actively find a solution, here's what we need to do. Here's what you need to do. Just shut your mouth, stay out of the debate, and let the grown-ups figure out what to do. The oil industry cannot be just turned off. Alternative, we do have alternatives, but they're not quite ready. 
So the oil industry has, still has plenty of time ahead. And even when renewables do take over, if that day ever comes, it's not like the oil industry will just disappear. There are other uses for oil. So people need to remember that. And anybody who is not contributing positively to help both sides needs to just be kicked out of this debate. I'm sorry. It, it's time to end these political shenanigans so we can actually work on proper solutions that help everybody. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.